I'm Chris Elise, and welcome back to the Teen Scene. Here with me today, I have Eric, um, Eric Burris and Ron Burris, who are hosting the Illumination Derby Ball for teens. So, you two like to tell us about the Illumination Derby Ball? Sure. The Illumination Derby Ball is the first ever high profile derby event exclusively for teens. Um, it was produced and created uh, by myself, along with assistance with my cousin, Ron Burris. Um, and it's the only high profile derby event for teens in Louisville during the derby season. That we hear so much about the Grand Gala and the Barn Stable and all the other high profile parties, but now we have our own party where the teenagers can come and party in a high profile atmosphere and most importantly in a safe atmosphere. And um, we have two events the Hip Hop Dance and Step Competition and the Illumination Derby Ball, which, uh, and Ron can tell you more about the Hip Hop Dance Step Competition. Yes, the Hip Hop Step Dance Competition is actually called the Verizon Wireless Hip Hop Dance Step Competition. It will be Thursday after the Pegasus Parade. It starts at 7.30 at DuPont Manual High School. And can anyone enter for these events? Yes, if you want to enter, you could actually go to our website, www.illuminationderbyball.com, and there will be a link for you to click on the Step Show page, and you can enter your team. It doesn't necessarily have to be a step team. It can be a dance team, too. And you can go there and enter into the competition. So what inspired you all to put these events together? Uh, well, basically for me, I always saw... Um, the older people in my family always going to these different high profile events mm -hmm. and you know us the teens sitting at home not having anything to do so um, creating these events really gave me a hobby of something I could do um, going out and uh, soliciting sponsors and advertisers and other people who would support the events was really a challenge but at the end it, was, it turned out to be a great success this will be the second year for the events and last year we had a humongous uh, response from our community and the sponsors that uh, did sponsor last year. And the, our presenting sponsor this year is Verizon Wireless. So how long did it take you to get these together? Well, we started back in last year for about five, about mm -hmm. five months out from Derby. And this year we started about mm -hmm. right a year after Derby. after Derby. Yeah. So um, probably about a year to get everything together and, you know. Okay. So this Illumination Derby ball, how do you get into that? You can actually go to our website and you buy tickets there. They're $20 and they'll be on sale uh, starting April the 1st. And the website again is www.illuminationderbyball.com. So it sounds like a really good event for teens. Yes, definitely. Every teen in Louisville needs to be there. Something some good, you won't safe atmosphere? Miss. Yes. Okay. So you have anything else you'd like to say about the Derby Ball? Just go to it, go to both events, the Derby Ball and the Step Show. And um, one more thing, how, how long does it usually run? Uh, the, we have red carpet entrances and um, interviews on the Verizon Wireless red carpet, and that starts about 8 o'clock, and the ball ends around 12, so about four hours is the ball. So it's a red carpet event? Yes, red carpet event. It's kind of like a prom. Everybody loves to get dressed up in their dresses and suits and tuxes, so definitely very exciting. So do you have any restrictions for your dress codes? No, you know, just make smart decisions, I could say, to the teens. I, you know. As in you wear no jeans and nothing like that? No right? jeans, no, no. Okay. <laughs> So, any like what other events do you have during this derby, during the ball that night? We have our, our main stage, Mountain Dew main stage, uh, where we have different performers. And actually, Code Red, the musical group from Louisville, is scheduled to perform there this year. Uh, and 98.9 Kiss FM is one of our other presenting sponsors, and they're going to have um, Carlos Morales, who's the main DJ there, and he's going to be there that night DJing and doing some other fun activities. Sounds good. So if a team wanted to come there, they could bring a date or it's like open to anyone? Yeah, you can, uh, like last year, plenty of girls came, you know, with their group. And some people came with dates, some came alone. So it's, you know, anything you want to do, pretty much. Okay. But you wouldn't, like, go overboard, like, buying, like, a $5,000 gun for it, right? No. 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 <laughs> <laughs> no. And we're, we want to keep everything affordable because, um, I mean, that's what it's all about, not, you know, doing too much. Okay. Well, there you have it. We had the Elimination Derby Balls hosted by Ron, Ron Burst and Eric Burst, both the cousins. We'll be right back after um, these messages.